Hi, I'm Jared. And I'm Brad. And this week on Hood Slappers, we're going to be reviewing the 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. The Germans have created and contributed many things to advance our modern world. Radar, helicopters, the Bunsen burner. They've even managed to take this, the cabbage, a vegetable that tastes bland, gives you gas, and takes up more than its fair share of refrigerator real estate and create sauerkraut. <coughs> now, more than 387 million pounds are consumed by Americans every year. Germans do make a lot of great things, Jared, but what about the automobile? I mean, people talk about German engineering as if it's a gift from the Almighty, but just because it's German engineered doesn't make it great. Remember, Jared, the Germans also gave us oompa music. Mm. Well, take the 2022 Tiguan for example. It is Volkswagen's best-selling vehicle worldwide, but how does it fare with all the other SUVs we find in North America, where people love their SUVs. Well, that's what we want to find out. Because it's North America, the Tiguan needed to gain some weight and have a facelift in order to stay relevant. The 2022 upgrades you can find are a brand new steering wheel with optional touch swipe controls, digital cockpit, and Volkswagen's redesigned logo meeting the Tiguan's new grille and fresh lines, thus making it look more familiar and similar to its big brothers, the Atlas and the Atlas Crossport. You see, when the Tiguan came to North America for its 2009 model debut, there were a few problems. It was a lot smaller than many of the other SUVs out there, it took premium fuel only, and it looked very European. For its first year in North America, it only managed to sell 13,903 units, which paled in comparison to the Honda CRV that year, who beat everybody with 191,000 units. It wasn't until 2018 when Volkswagen made some big changes to their SUV to make it feel more American. This meant more interior space, especially in the cargo area, producing 2,078 liters with the seats folded down. Volkswagen also did away with their premium fuel and now they only use regular fuel, which is great news considering gas prices today. And what you get is 10.6 liters per 100 kilometers in the city and eight on the highway. Interestingly enough though, the Tiguan still uses a two liter four cylinder engine, but this 2022 produces a very competitive 184 horsepower while being pushed by its eight speed gearbox. But Jared, we could talk about stats all day long. Everyone can look that stuff up. So today let's do something different. Today, Jared and I are gonna share our favorite thing about the Tiguan and share it with you in a segment we are calling Jared and Brad share their favorite thing about the Tiguan and share it with you. My favorite thing about the 2022 Tiguan is that Volkswagen stuck with the 40-20-40 split back seats. A lot of manufacturers these days are just doing 60-40, but that 20% is such an easy thing to do and comes in handy when you need it. But if you still want the 60-40, you can pull those down as well. You can also add a third row to the Tiguan, turning your five-seater Tiguan into a seven-seater people-moving machine. My favorite part of the Tiguan is that they've stuck with a regular transmission and haven't given in to the CVT. Not that there's anything wrong with the CVT. Not at all. My uncle, he suffers from the CVT. Anyway, an eight-speed transmission is just so much better for composed driving. Now, the Tiguan we're going to be driving today is the Comfort Line trim level. Volkswagen offers three different trim levels, and the trend line is the entry. And that will give you heated cloth seats, a backup camera, and App Connect for your phone. Now, the Comfort Line here will add items like leatherette seats, an 8 inch touchscreen, remote start, and power tailgate. Finally, <clears throat> we have the Highline. <clears throat> and Volkswagen's included their R-Line signature package with every Highline, which includes a 360 degree camera, ventilated seats, fender audio system, and navigation. And every trim level comes with Volkswagen's four motion all wheel drive system and a towing capacity of 1500 pounds. <laughs> oh, but Jared, that's not all. You see, Volkswagen has also added another new trim level for the 2022 model. That's right, they're calling it the Comfort Line R-Line 
Black Edition. This takes your ordinary comfort line and offers a blackened aesthetic package while adding 19 inch alloy wheels, a sport steering wheel, a black headliner and parking sensors. It's only $2,700 more money, Jared. And it tell you, it might be the nicest looking Tiguan on the market today. In fact, it might be the nicest looking SUV on the market today. You don't say. I do. Volkswagen is so dedicated to the new Tiguan that if you've never owned a Tiguan before, they even give you this How to Tiguan Guide, an owner's manual for today's parents. And it'll teach you how to entertain your kids in the back, how to pack the trunk for a road trip, and Brad, it even has you in mind, hmm. how to buckle in your imaginary friend. Very funny, Jared. Listen, it's not hard to see why the Tiguan is Volkswagen's best-selling vehicle. German engineers have adapted, redesigned, and put a whole lot of care into their SUV poster child. But how does it compare to their competitors? Why isn't it the best-selling SUV in its class? The truth is, we don't know. The Tiguan came in fifth place last year with SUVs worldwide, just behind the Mazda CX-5. You see, I think what Volkswagen thinks what makes their vehicles great is a lot different than what their owners think. I printed off a list of the top 10 reasons why Volkswagen drivers are obsessed with their Volkswagen. And here's five through one. Number five, they have a solid build. Number four, they're well-rounded. Number three, it feels expensive. Number two, they make iconic vehicles. And number one, celebrities drive them. Jared, that list makes no sense. I mean, you could literally take out the name Volkswagen, replace it with any other brand, and make the exact same points. It's all fluff, and it says nothing specifically about Volkswagen. So, Jared, what actually makes Volkswagen great? Well, Tony, what makes Volkswagen great, and especially the 2022 Tiguan, is Volkswagen's laser welding and safety ratings. They also have a very deep racing pedigree, and they're one of the least expensive cars to maintain while still offering one of the highest resale values. Personally, I think it's one of the best looking SUVs out there with a lot of great trim level options. Well, Jared, we, I am a bit of a celebrity, so why don't we hop in, take this for a drive, talk about the interior and that name, Tiguan. Oh, all right. Well, here all we are. All right, here we are. First impressions, Jared. What do you think? Well, Brad, it's a Tiguan. It's a Volkswagen. The thing I like about Volkswagen is you could really hop into any Volkswagen and you kind of know where everything is. Right. Uh, I always know where the heated seats are, as you know. Yeah, Make yes. Make sure I know where those are. But uh, yeah, it's very similar. Uh, again, some new things here for the 2022, but uh, still relatively simple. It's clean. Uh, there's uh, there's nothing to fault it on uh, at the moment. It it's yeah it's no. what I expected. No, no, I agree with you. I like it. it's crisp. It's clean. I like it. I like it a lot. One thing that Volkswagen did with the 2022 Tiguan is they've added their MIB3 interface, which basically is another fancy word for saying their eight-inch display screen. But right. with this screen now you have the ability to use your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto without using any USB cords. It's all done through Bluetooth and it's all wireless, which is really cool. It also has this uh, motion sensor ability so I can swipe left and swipe oh. right without touching the screen. Not anything I'll use, but yeah. See, I think I would use that. Why would you use that? Well, I wanna... You wanna what? I wanna... I don't know. I don't know what I can do on here yet. How do I? You radio stations, you can swerve left and right. See, now that would be helpful than trying to get into the screen. Yeah. See, I like that. Now, there are two knobs here still, right? Yes, there I are. Like. I like that. Right. You know? This is your volume knob, or you're just power on and off. Okay, and what's over this here, one? That's your tuning knob. What do you mean tuning? Just like an old, this is very classic. That's your tuning, so you can go from your 96.7 Chime FM and you can oh, I go over to your 106.7. I see. I see. Now, it's interesting to me that this lower area here is also... Well, um, you nice try. <laughs> I am... Blasted! You can't snow the snowman. <laughs> you, can't, you can't put the heated seats. That's my move. 
I wanted you to feel the heat. It was getting really hot there for a bit. Well, you didn't do it. That was very obvious. You've never, never done that. I've never. It wasn't graceful. Never, okay. All that right. Wasn't graceful. I'm gonna have to work on that. All right, Jared. Now let's talk about the price. Now the starting price of the Tiguan is thirty-three thousand six ninety-five. Mm -hmm. I believe it is just over thirty-three k. Now what's interesting is the smaller SUV for them, the Taos. The Taos. The Taos. That's what Taos. our viewers decided it was called. Which viewers? Our viewers. Our view Gary, our social media guy. You did, did it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I got it. Ah, you finally got one. In I there. finally got one. In. Oh, getting a little in the hot seat. Oh, were you? A bit of a hot seat. <laughs> oh, very impressed. I'll give you that one. All Brad. right, excellent. All Somebody right. went Brad's way. Sorry, sorry. Okay, back to the the, 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 the Teos. Can I back, get back the, to the, the Teos? The Teos. You can get back to the Teos. Right. House. Okay. And how? Anyway, our viewers settled that. But it is the smaller SUV, and it starts at just over twenty-six thousand. Now, take the Cross Sport, the bigger SUV. Right. It starts just over forty thousand. So, to me, the Tiguan, being middle class, it's priced just right. It's right where it should be. Now, this one we are driving is again, as we said, the Comfort Line viewers. Now, this one is about thirty-seven five, uh, and it's it's nice. Now, some of you might be thinking, well, where's the moonroof? Here, I'm spending thirty-seven thousand five hundred. It's a Volkswagen, it's got a lot of stuff, but where's the moonroof? Well, here's an interesting fact. Only about 40% of cars out there have moonroofs in them. I looked that up. Oh. Some people don't like them because they don't like all that light coming into their car, or they don't like them because if they open it up, it is very noisy and you can't carry a conversation. And some people think mm, in a rollover accident, it might not be a good idea to have them. Volkswagen understands that and know that it's 40, 60 in terms of who wants them and who doesn't. Okay. So they give you an option if you do want a moonroof, the full rail to rail moonroof in your Tiguan. And that's about a $1,500 package or with taxes in $1,695. Jeez. Oh, my face. It hurts from that cabbage you threw. Does it look like I, does it look like it's hurt? No. Cause it's aching right, right here. It's aching a bit. Ship shape. Like, like who, who throws a cabbage? Uh, can we talk about the name Tiguan, Jared? Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. Because this, I did a little, little research on. We talked about this earlier in the review. We've done this with some other cars, some other vehicles. I find this interesting. Where do you think the name Tiguan came from? Not sure. Well, here's the deal. They married two animals to create one name. The Tiguan can guess what animals. Right. Tig, I'm gonna go tiger. Tiger, you're right there. One, I don't know. Mm. The iguana. Iguana? See, they marry those two together. Tiger for power, iguana for adaptability. Okay. okay. Now, I, you know what? I don't mind the name Tiguan, but I just find those two animals interesting. I mean, a tiger I get, uh, that's great for him. I don't know anyone who owns a tiger, but here's the thing. I know people who own iguanas. They're, um, they are. they're a different sort of <laughs> person. They are. They love their iguanas. They, they love their iguana. Anytime I go into a house with an iguana, I'm like, oh boy, this is interesting. Because they're, they got them in those little fish, not little, huge fish tanks, right? It's bigger than their TV and their room set up around <laughs> the iguana. <laughs> That's the thing that brings the room together is the iguana yeah. tank. And they always want you to hold it. I you know. Want to hold my, you want to hold the iguana? Yeah, yeah I'm like, no. I... So I get, in theory, iguana, adaptable. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But anytime, I don't know. Even still, I like the sound of the name, well, Tiguan. We personally don't know any tiger people. No. But wasn't the, that, that documentary, the, the Netflix, tiger King. the Tiger King? Oh, that was great. So we don't have to know tiger people to know they're also a special <laughs> sort of person. That's true. All right, Jared, we are in the comfort line trim. Is this the perfect trim? Is this what should people should be aiming for? Well, this is, it's that middle trim, but again, you're not, you know, some cars, some manufacturers, they'll have a couple trims and you gotta go up three models before you get some of this stuff. Yeah. My 10.25 digital cockpit, I have that on this vehicle here. I have my eight inch display touch, touch screen. I have heated seats, as you found out a few times, this is a nice, and it's leatherette seats. There's a lot of nice things on here. Um, and you add the moonroof for $1,500. I think you have a really nice vehicle. Personally, that's a Comfortline R-Line Black Edition. That is a nice 
nice car and it has a lot of the things a Highline has without the price. I prefer the aesthetics, the looks of the uh, R-Line package myself in terms of the outside, all the black accents. I think that looks really sharp, um, but I would say that would be the model of choice if I want a little more style. Comfort Line is kind of your everyday driver, commuter, whatever you want to call it. This is a nice, well put together car. Right. Now, how do you think it, it, it measures up to its competitors? Because all, because you know, the closest competitors are you know the Honda, yeah, Toyota, CRV, Mazda, the the, the, uh, the Rav4, CX50. CX, yeah. um, now we haven't done the Toyota or the Mazda, but we have done the Honda. And I got to be honest, I'm liking this. Like the Honda, we talked about this. It needs it needs some updating. Well, needs, which is which is getting which is. You, know, you, impeccable you, you, in terms do, of you do keep saying that. I haven't seen it yet. It's kind of, they just released, uh, as we speak, it was released last week. So it was, oh, it was kind a, of nice. Oh, an yeah. all new, uh, like a complete makeover. The, the, uh, yeah, they showed it and to see what it looks like. And it's okay. got a hybrid option as well. So okay. That would be okay. nice. But in terms of this pound for pound with what's out right now, absolutely. I think this looks nicer than the RAV4. I think it looks nicer than the CRV because I've seen those cars for a long time. Yep. Uh, I like this. I think, it, it, you know, to me, it's a more solid car. Uh, the CRV is it's still a nice car. Uh, the CX50, I've never driven. I've, well, that's one I want to look at. Mazda, if you're you out know, there and you want to let you know us. What? We have never done a Mazda. And there's a viewer out there who said do a Mazda. And I, I feel like I've let them down. So Well, you have. We, well, oh. uh, we'll get a Mazda. But this is, uh, it's competitive in every aspect yeah. of uh, these sorts of uh, compact SUVs. Um, it comes down to what you prefer, really. I mean... Some people will take a CRV and it's a better selling car than this, but I do like this one. I think it competes with all those vehicles yeah, out there. Absolutely. Now, if I had one critique, Jared, I, I'm, I'm straight up old school. I'm a knob guy. I want knobs for everything. And the lower deck here for both your fan speed, you got to, it's not even just an up and down. You got to slide it with your finger. And uh, I just happen to think that over time that could get a little bit annoying. Uh, Speaking yeah. of annoying, let me just turn off my heated <laughs> seat. You I are just, so predictable. But I just, I do know do, what you do mean. You, do, you, do you agree though? Like that, that, that's an interesting choice. I haven't seen this anywhere else, and I don't know if I, how I feel about that. It's something to get used to. I'm also concerned because I snack in the car. You start getting stuff on your finger. You got, you got, you know. I just could see it getting slimy. Well, like we said earlier, German engineering doesn't mean it's a better SUV, but combined with Volkswagen's history, their racing, their style, their pricing and design means that the Tiguan is the better SUV. Volkswagen is dedicated to turning the people's car into the people's SUV. And as the name would suggest, adapting it and keeping it fresh and relevant for today's driver. And it's easy to see why the Tiguan is Volkswagen's best-selling vehicle. So with that, I give the 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan my hood slap of approval. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Jesus, what happened to your face? I knew it. I know it. You, who throws a cabbage? You better see a doctor about that. Oh my goodness. A cabbage. All over. Unbelievable. I'm taking you home, Brad. A big thanks to Volkswagen Waterloo for lending us this 2022 Volkswagen Tiguan. If you're interested in purchasing one or talking to somebody, you can see them at 550 Weaver Street North in Waterloo, Ontario.